AFOQT. If you want to become an Air Force officer, you must need to take AFOQT test. So AFOQT stands for Air Force Officer Qualifying Test. So if you want to become an Air Force officer, there are three ways you could do it. Either Air Force Academy, Air Force ROTC, or with a bachelor's degree. So any way you want to go, you must need to pass with a high score to be competitive because this is one of the most competitive tests in the, in the military. And you could take only twice in your lifetime. Sometimes you could take an waiver for the third time, but this is a different thing. So make sure that you prepare. So there are um, a different way you could take it. So and after you take the first time, um, you have to wait for 150 days to take the next time. So make sure that you are prepared. There are uh, different sections in the EAF OQT test that you need to study. So those are arithmetic reasoning, verbal analogy, word knowledge, physical science, table reading, instrument comprehension, block counting, and aviation information. There are a lot of information you need to study and learn. But if you do in a systematic way, it is not that hard. So let me show you a way that we have been helping a student last five, six years with a great success. So uh, the strategy we use to split all different things into um, 12 different sessions. So in each session consists of multiple lessons, right? The session one with arithmetic reasoning lesson one, reading comprehension lesson one, and word knowledge lesson one. And all this lesson you could find in the in the application. Um, you could download this application from App Store or uh, Google Play. So you'll have like ASVAB AF OQT tutoring application. I'll put the link in the description. So you could study um, with this lesson. So you could split that lesson maybe twice a week. That's the best practice we have been seeing with the students. Uh, I'll show you some um, review from our students who successfully passed that test with high score. So that's lesson uh, session one with the session two, session three, like that. After we finish all the sessions, um, you could take a few uh, APOQT prediction tests for in, in EC individual areas. Okay, so you could take the prediction test, um, different, either you could take the prediction for ABM, um, air battle management or for the pilot or if you want to become a regular Air Force officer, you could do that thing in the application and, or um, web subscription. Okay, so let's, let's see that what are the resources we could use to study. So um, this is the application you could use for your uh, preparation. So this is called AFOQT app. So download this application and this application is of the lesson tied with the session plan. So it will give you like understanding how things work and it have like a many practice tests. If you buy a book from um, the market, it doesn't have that many practice tests that in the application we have. So have a look. Um, here are some of the students we have passed most recently. You could see here, this is the score one of our students, how to score high on the APOQT. So uh, she took the test uh, most recently. There is another officer candidate. You could see here the review that his student actually passed the test with a um, good score for the pilot. Let me show you another one in here. Um, most recently took the test. Let me see why that is. So you see here, this is another one. Your student passed with all the thing, right? So that's how it works. So if you want to um, study, make sure that you have a plan and that you execute correctly and it will help you to pass the test. Good luck.